What's going on everybody? My name is CD and today we're going to be talking about everything that we currently know about the season one launch and we got a lot more information yesterday. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through this article that's on callofduty.com. I will link it in the description below because we're not going to go through everything. We're going to go through all of the big hitters, everything that was actually fully announced yesterday. No more leaks. This is all real now and everything that will be coming out December 16th. All right. So let's scroll down here. Everything you need to know about Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War and Warzone coming December 16th. I just said that we're not going to go through all of the text as this is a huge article and that's why I linked it down below. Here is the season one trailer. We're not going to watch that. If you guys want to check it out, it's right there. So right here, we kind of have everything into one graphic. So at the top left, you can see Warzone, the new map Rebirth Island that was leaked a while ago. People weren't sure. That is now confirmed. There'll be a new Gulag experience, which we'll go over here later, as well as an expanded arsenal in Warzone. Now over to multiplayer. So this is mainly talking about Black Ops Cold War. Gunfight returns with four new maps, as well as new multiplayer 66 maps, and even a new Fireteam 12v12 map. There'll be new multiplayer game modes, new vehicles, new score streak, and then sadly for zombies, no new map, but a few new modes. With season one, we'll also get new weapons and operators, as well as the battle pass and some new prestiges and probably more things added to the store. All right, so right off the bat here, we have three new operators coming to Black Ops Cold War. So this is Stitch. And then down here we have Bulldozer. I believe that's him right here. And then we have Zay Zayna. I'm not sure how you say that. So right here, obviously playing on the new raid map. We also get five new weapons. So this is the MAC-10 SMG, which I think is kind of interesting to add because I feel like it's gonna be very, very similar to the Milano or the Uzi that's already in the game. Um, we have the Groza, which is an assault rifle. And then finally the Street Sweeper, which is a shotgun, which reminds me of, I'm not gonna remember it. There was a shotgun in Modern Warfare 3 that looked exactly like that. And then there's also two melee weapons, of course. So we have a sledgehammer as well as a wook, yeah, that thing right there. Not sure, basically samurai sword. All right, so getting more into the 2v2 mode. So obviously gunfight from Modern Warfare coming into Black Ops Cold War and Prop Hunt, which is always a good deal of fun to play. If you guys haven't played it in previous Call of Duties, try it out in Cold War. It's always a good time. Hopefully they do it right. They're also bringing us a game mode called Dropkick, which is 6v6, which is a frantic game of nuclear hot potato, which features two teams, each vying for control of a special and extremely important briefcase. It's round based. I don't know if I will be playing it, but I might try it out maybe once or twice. And they're also adding in 12v12 combined arms hardpoint, which seems like it might just be a headache, but you know, we have to try it out. We'll have to see how it works. There will be eight new multiplayer maps. And to me, that is like, there should be an asterisk next to that. And you'll see why here. So there is the Pines, the new 6v6 map. And this is actually the only brand new 6v6 map that they're coming out with right here because we have Raid, which is 6v6. Yes, probably remastered, remade. But we've seen the map before, so I wouldn't call it new. Obviously, I'm excited to play it in Black Ops Cold War, though. We have Nuketown 84 reskinned, Nuketown 84 Holiday, um, which is fine. It seems like it's night, though. It seems dark. I don't know how that will play. And then we get into the 2v2 maps. So they're considering the 2v2 maps multiplayer. That makes sense. But that's what I mean. There should just be that asterisk next to it. But 2v2, we got four new maps. Game Show. Next one is ICBM, KGB, and then finally Uban. And then there is a new fire team map, Sanatorium. I can't say I've played a lot of fire team, but there's a new map for you. We have some new tools of the trade, they call it. So one new score streak, the HARP, which if you guys have followed my channel and watched some of the videos, a while ago before Black Ops Cold War came out, I had a video talking about all of these score streaks that we thought would be in the game. But mysteriously, when the game dropped, quite a few of them on that list were not in the game. But it seems like that list may be true. And some of the missing score streaks may just be coming out in the future seasons. So 
This was one that I talked a lot about, the HARP, which is basically an advanced UAV, a Blackbird, SR-71, whatever you want to call it from the recent games. It'll be interesting to see how much score you need to get the HARP, but I think it'll be a good support score streak to run. In some previous games, you actually couldn't shoot it down. So if that's the same in Black Ops Cold War, it should be pretty good. And then there's also a new vehicle, the Tactical Raft. There will be new zombies modes, which as you can see right here, turns the dogs into reindeer. Interesting, called Jingle Hells. Now it's not a new map. It seems like it is just a new mode on Die Machine. And then they talk more about in the article, some other things coming in for the holidays, festive firepower, snowballs that can freeze zombies, etc. And then Cranked, which in Modern Warfare was actually a multiplayer game mode, but here in Cold War, they're making it a zombies game mode. So new prestige levels and prestige shop obviously coming to season one. So when season one drops, if you've already completed levels one through 55, the military ranks, and you're now into the season ranks, showing some sort of prestige emblem, you will now be reset to level one, season level one, and you will now have up to 1,000 levels. So once you hit level 50, you will unlock a new prestige, new emblem, prestige key, weapon blueprint, battle pass, tier skip. Similar at level 100, 150, and 200. And then level 250 to 1000, you're just unlocking a new prestige key every 50 levels, but at least you can rank up. But right now, I'm just stuck at third prestige level 100. Also, the four new prestiges were announced by Treyarch prestiges four, five, six, and seven that we just talked about. And here you can see the new emblems. I think they look pretty cool here blown up, but I'm not sure how they'll look when they're really, really small next to my name. We'll have to wait and see. All right, so the new Warzone content. So obviously a new map, Rebirth Island, and here they're calling it Warzone's mini BR mode. Interesting, not an exact copy or not a new BR, but just a mini BR. And they do say that planned playlists include trios and quads with a lower player count than in Verdansk. Here you can see what they're calling the new Verdansk Gulag experience. So there will be a new map for the Gulag, as well as a Gulag experience for the new Rebirth Island map. So those will be interesting to see how those work out. There will be a new vehicle in Warzone, the Attack Helicopter. So you guys know the regular helicopter in Warzone. Well, this one is gonna have machine guns on it. So you can basically fly around and maybe get some kills from the air. Obviously, as we've already talked about, the Black Ops Cold War content integration will take place in season one. So all of the weapons from Cold War will now be usable in Warzone, as well as the progression system from Cold War will now take place in Warzone as well as Modern Warfare. They also announced that Mastercraft camos are back, which they call a level of rarity even above legendary. So be on the lookout for some Mastercraft camos or some blueprints as they're called now. But I think that is really it. Those are some of the highlights of what we should expect here in season one. Again, if you guys wanna read the actual article and go through it all in depth, I put a link to it down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, click that like button down below. So if you have not already, we'll see you guys later.